Hey everyone, it's me, Ari Dossett, Comrade Sheet. I'm the anthropologist and sociologist. Hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel, become a member of the channel. Oh, and don't forget, donate the links below. So, hold on. Is everything working well? Okay, good. Now, there is a, there's an issue with many believers that I'm about to address here. And that issue is too many believers are seeking to be loved by the world. Now, don't get me wrong. The world is the social system, social economic system out there, politically driven by fallen mankind. The earth where we dwell is the Lord's, okay? It's natural that we human beings want to be loved by others, okay? That's a healthy desire. There's nothing wrong, narcissistic or evil about that. Absolutely not. Okay? But just understand the following. Hold on. The cross over here. But understand the following. We are never guaranteed that others will love us. You know why? Because a lot of people don't even love themselves. It's one thing to have low or lack of self-worth because that's the result of the fall of man, uh, mankind or the fall of Adam. So that's not your fault. But it's a whole nother thing to be against yourself. Again, it's one thing to have low or lack of self-worth, but it's a whole nother thing to be against yourself. And a lot of people in the world are against themselves. How can someone who's against themselves be for you? So someone who's against themselves, can they operate in love? No, because love is not there. They don't even love themselves. Let alone the love of the Father is not even there, okay? So you're not guaranteed you'll be loved by everyone. That will not happen. A lot of believers understand this. What they do instead is, they now are chasing uh, affection and approval from key important people in their life. They call them their loved ones. This is idolatry. I'm not saying having people who are dear to you is, is idolatry. No, that's natural that, that some people are dear to you. Just understand, you're relying on so-called loved ones or friends and family or key people in your life that you consider important for your self-worth, that's idolatry and that's narcissistic. Because that shows you lack self-worth, you, you don't properly value yourself and you're extracting value from others, which is quite draining onto them. And that would also mean that the moment you find better uh, psychological supply or what they call narcissistic supply, you will drop those people. That's not fair, not the uh, right way to act. But that's how a lot of believers act. The greatest commandment that the Father gave us is love the Lord thy God with all their heart, all their soul, all their mind. So you need to love and trust God 100% with all your heart. So you have to unconditionally trust and be focused on that with Father. By doing that, your self-worth is confirmed. And after your self-worth is confirmed, now you love your neighbor as yourself. That's how we're meant to operate as human beings. All our human affection should be centered on the Heavenly Father. Not on, uh, not on anything else. I'm not saying that you can't be affectionate towards your wife, your children, or your husband, or you can't have esteem for um, people with, with relevancy out there or you can't enjoy other activities. No, I'm just telling you, your self-words ought to be confirmed by you serving the Heavenly Father. Because your human affection, which we call love, needs payment. You're a conditional creature. Just like your body is conditional, you need water, food, sleep, uh, and clothes. The same way you, on a spiritual level, you are conditional to your conditional creature. So that means that there are conditions need to be met for you to remain healthy and functional. And a lack of self-worth is blocking your well-being and your functioning. The only way to have confirmed self-worth continuously is to serve the Heavenly Father. Once you serve the Heavenly Father, now you are safe to love your neighbor as yourself. Because if you're not serving the Heavenly Father, that means that you're chasing compensation. That does not automatically mean that you are a narcissist, you're evil, or a toxic individual. It simply means you're operating in toxicity eventually. Eventually, you will operate in toxicity because those other human beings cannot confirm your self worth. They're not able to do that. So you always face disappointment and frustration. And all types of other 
uh, toxic emotions uh, that they say for you to, uh, to not even experience. And that's been a problem for many believers. I can understand unbelievers, worldlings operating this way, but believers should not. Love the Lord thy God with all their mind, all their heart, soul, whatever you read in the Bible. Love God 100%, not 90%, 95%, 100%. When yourself self-worth confirmed by you serving Him, now you love your neighbor as yourself. By operating like that, you will gain in social relevancy, you'll become economic relevant, financial dominant, and you will thrive in life instead of struggling and surviving. Now you'll still face some difficulties in life, don't get me wrong, you'll still face difficulties, but you'll operate in victory. And a lot of believers are not operating in victory simply because I already told you, um, they're an idolatry. They're not obeying the Heavenly Father. Okay, but that's it for now. I obey the Heavenly Father, I agree with Christ, and I'll see you in my next live stream. Shalom.